Hi and welcome to another MailChimp update video. In this video what you're going to do, I'm going to show you how you can add a pop-up on your Shopify store. So the first thing we'll do, we'll go to MailChimp and then we're going to get the pop-up code, then we'll bring it back to our Shopify admin area and then we'll add that code on the theme. So let's get started right away and the first thing is for us to go into MailChimp to get the pop-up code. So to get that code, I will go into lists and then let's use the form that we used when we were creating our first pop-up and that was in this list. So I'll just go here and click on sign up forms and then I want to go to subscriber pop-up so I'll just click there so if you can recall this is the pop-up that we created when we were talking about pop-up forms in MailChimp so if you don't know how this was created go back to that section and watch the section on pop-up forms in MailChimp so here I'm not going to edit anything I only want to get the code so to get the code I'll just click on view code and then Control A, Control C to copy everything. And then I'll come back to Shopify. And then here in Shopify, I want to go to online store. So this will enable me to edit the theme and any other thing that I want to edit about my store. This is just a sample store on my development account in Shopify. So what I want to do here is you see, I'm already in themes. If you're not in themes, just click on themes. What I want to do is I want to go and edit the HTML and CSS for the theme. So if I click there, it will take me to the code editor area for Shopify. So these are all the templates that are used in your Shopify theme. So make sure when you're choosing the theme to edit, you choose the theme that you're currently using. So in my case, I'll just come here into theme.liquid and this is where I will add this pop-up code. So if I come here and I scroll all the way down, here just before the body element is closed, I can add that code right there. If you want to do this manually, this is how you do it. So if I save this, if I save this and I go to any page on my Shopify store, the pop-up is going to show up for my site. So I do know that I've already used this pop-up somewhere on a different website and therefore it's not going to show up. Let me go back here. My store is currently protected by a password. So if I have to use it on a different browser, I would need to remove that. You can see it doesn't show up here, but I'm going to I'm going to open it in Chrome so that we can see if it pops up. But for your case, just know that it's working. That's all you needed to do. So let me go and remove this password because I want to make sure that I can access this shop on any browser without having to input a password. So if I scroll down, if I scroll down in this section where it says enable password, I can uncheck that and then save. Let me take this link, control C, and I want to open it in Chrome. And if I open it in Chrome, you'll see that the pop-up comes up and this will happen for every page on your website. If you put it on theme.liquid, that will ensure that it shows up on every single page on your Shopify store. So if you want to close it, I can close it here, but once I close it, I won't be able to see it again in this session. So that is how you can add a pop-up on your Shopify store. 
So just a recap, how to add a pop-up on your Shopify store. First thing you have to do, you'll get the code from MailChimp and you know how to do that. You can edit this however you want to edit yours. You can change the theme here. And once you take the code, you just click on view code, you'll get the code. Then you bring the code back to your Shopify store. Then you go into online store. And then in online store, you go into theme store, into theme store, you'll choose to edit the HTML and CSS. And if I click on themes, if I click on themes, you'll see that this is a, the theme that I'm using. It's called simple. And I can simply edit the, the code by going to HTML, CSS, and that will take me to the page where I can edit the HTML and CSS. And that's where I will add the embed code. Make sure you choose the theme which is currently active. Okay. So that's it for this video. In the next video, let's come back into Shopify and we're going to see how we can add, how we can add an embed form just on the page. So if you want to add an embedded form, a MailChimp embedded form, watch the next video. I will see you in that next video.